Hello, my name is Bruno Lewaji. I'm the CEO of iTech Software, and I want to invite you to the PDF Days in Cologne in Germany. The PDF Days are organized by the PDF Association, and the first day is a general educational day. And during this day, Mark Stevens from IDR Solutions and myself are going to present seven cases for the PDF detectives, real-world PDFs, PDF mysteries unveiled. We've done a uh, call for PDFs, PDFs that show some very interesting pro problems. Mark and myself, we've examined these PDFs and we've solved the mystery. Let's take a look at the PDF photo PDF as an example. When you open this PDF, you get an out of memory exception. Now, this is strange because when we look at the file size of this PDF, we see that it's only 31,000 bytes or 32,000 bytes, 31 kilobyte. That's not that much memory. So what's wrong with it, this PDF? We could ask Acrobat, use preflight. Where is preflight? Oh, here is preflight. And say, well, preflight, report PDF syntax issues, analyze this problem. Well, Acrobat says, we found there's no problem with this file. But what is this PDF out of memory exception then about? That's a case for the PDF detectives. And PDF detectives, they inspect the PDF. We look inside the PDF using iText wraps. And we can say, well, there must be a problem on page one. Let's look at the contents of page one. Well, contents of page one. Here they are. Well, there's not that much data in page one, but we see that page one consists of an image. And this image can be found here in the resources, X objects. There's an image stream. And here we see an image, and this image wasn't visible in the PDF. Now, iText goes at great lengths to, to find uh, what is wrong with the PDF and you can see that iText detected an image and by looking at the internals of iText we discovered that there was a problem with the filters and to make a long st story short if we just switch these filters and we say flate decode and then dct decode okay and we Save this file, save as, let's save it in the desktop, on the desktop, uh, desktop, here you are, and let's give it the name photo 2 PDF. Okay, there it is. Now when we open this file with Acrobat, we don't have any error and we see the same image. This is what the PDF, the PDF detectives do. Where did we find the inspiration for all these examples? Well, our users have submitted some PDFs, but we can find similar problems on Stack Overflow. For instance, iText PDF shows blank page. There's, uh, if you fill a form, content gets missing. Uh, Acro fields are empty. Uh, PDF extraction, well, I've tried to extract PDF, uh, text from a PDF and it doesn't work. All these kinds of problems like why are PDF difference uh, PDF files that different even if they look the same to the human eye all these kinds of problems will be dealt with in our talk in the talk by Mark Stevens and Bruno Luaji and while you're in Cologne please also consider visiting the iTech summit on the second day we have a whole program for you uh, consisting of well uh, talks about iText for archiving and accessibility, about testing PDFs. We have customer use cases. So in the session templates for PDF and PDF and workflow, we'll have four customers explaining what they've done with iText, how they are using iText, why iText is the best solution for them. And we'll end with uh, a view on the future about text and structure recognition in PDF. What will iText do in the next couple of years uh, which uh, new evolutions are there uh, regarding the development and the technical roadmap. So if you're uh, interested in PDF, please subscribe to the 
PDF days and come to our iTech Summit in Cologne on the 17th of June. Thank you.